Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to show our members how to prepare for Network Plus certification 008, but it's uh, going to be expired soon. And we also have 009. So we're going to focus more on 009. Now, in the previous videos, we have already discussed how you can prepare yourself for CompTIA A+, which is available on our YouTube. And if you're a member, you can go to the left side, click on Wiki. And here's the video that uh, basically demonstrate about CompTIA A+. But here we're going to talk about Network Plus, which we have 008 and 009. As you can see, 008 launch date was 2021, September 15. And now we have a new uh, certification, which is launched June 20th, 2024. And you can see right here, the retirement is available for the first one, generally three years from the launch, the second one. So the question is that, why should I do Network Plus CompTIA Network Plus certification? Well, this really is really up to you if you're going for a job and you're in an area where they do require Network Plus certification or maybe a company asks you to pass the certification to move up from help desk. It is really that sort of requirement. But if you look at it in a like in a market, like if you say, can I become a network engineer without Network Plus? And if I have, let's say, CCNA, yes. If I have some Azure certification, even then, yes, because these are all advanced certification. In most cases, what we see, a lot of people have certification when they come to us. That's because the companies are sending them for licensing and they're lacking the skills. So skills is the most important part. If you are preparing yourself for Network Plus, then why are you preparing yourself for Network Plus? You should ask that question. And the question is that because you think this is going to get you a job, then that's not the right approach. You should really do a research. Okay, if I get this certification, is it really going to teach me some sort of network administration or some something related to that sort of field, like systems administration, network administration? And usually we tell people that you should start with Network Plus because it's kind of like a broad vendor neutral knowledge. And then you go into more specific areas. If you want to go to a systems administration, focusing on Microsoft, then do Azure. If you're doing more of like a Cisco networking, then of course you should do net, uh, Cisco certification. So it's really not a like a hardcore requirement for our members to say, oh, I'm going to get this, I'm going to pass this, then I'm going to apply the job. That would be a wrong concept for us. You should finish our roadmaps. It's very hands-on. It's uh, The courses are extremely skills-focused. You're going to download your resume. You're going to start applying to the jobs. And you can say on the, on the resume that my Network Plus certification is ongoing or preferred date to finish it, whatever you want to put in there. And then tell the interviewers as well that I'm going for this certification. So now let me show you how you should prepare yourself from a job perspective. Like, okay, I want to prepare totally for the job. Now, again, this is going to be for someone who already have IT support job and they want to get into networking systems administration. So for JSS, we assume that you have finished the IT support career roadmap when you are getting ready for IT support. So we're not going to talk about that. Now we're talking about transition. The transitioning skills roadmap is the prerequisite for all of our administrative type of roles in JSS. So if you come over here, it's one course, and that is the course we will ask you to finish, which is called Network and Systems Administration Core Skills Training. Even though the lab that is attached with this is 008, it is still a great course for 009 uh, you know, uh, um, knowledge as well, because the course that we are teaching, we just combine the 008 labs into it, but our teaching, our labs, our uh, videos are very up to date on this course right now. So if you open it, and when you go into the course, you can see this is what you're going to cover in your certification as well, like basics, OSI layer, knowledge, and, and it goes beyond that. Like, you know, we go into more of the hands-on and let's do like TCP UDP, part one, part two, troubleshooting, Wireshark. So, of course, our things are going to be more hands-on. And this is for the people who want to become proper sysadmins or network engineering. So this is going to be your first course. So network cabling, network addressing, and that's where it's going to basically do IPv4, v6, and going all the way into DHCP, uh, DNS, and we'll have a lot of labs and uh, real labs. And then, of course, uh, you know, using some additional material as well. As you can see, this is a very long course. So once you finish this, you're going to be 
uh, uh, ready from a skill side and also from a knowledge side, even when you look at certification type of content. Now, if you say, I want to do a little bit of practice, like can I pass the exam, then you're going to go into the left side, click on practice test and scroll down and you see we have 008 and 009. So whichever you're looking to pass, you can open that. So you need to just click. So this is what you have covered in your course as well. But here you can do a lot more practice by just doing more questions coming over here. Clicking on unlimited is going to give you more time, uh, no time, and you just kind of keep going to pass the exam. And on the right side is going to be your real live mode where you can do this and just see can you pass this in 90 minutes. So if you click on start here, then come on the bottom. And then you can you know select other things but here you see it's not letting you pick because it's 216 questions available so if i click this then i can uh check mark some of this but i'm going to pick all the 216 let it pick for me and i'm going to do build and then that's where your your test will start and you can also use this for preparing yourself for actual interviews because all of these questions the answers that you're going to get is something that you can kind of like memorize like okay what if somebody asked me exact same question this is going to be the answer can i say this in my voice how would i explain it to another person so make this more of like an interview for yourself even if you're not doing certification so this is how you are going to prepare yourself for 008 or 009 again there are very um, uh, there are free materials outside on youtube you can search for network plus 009 certification courses there are exams there are communities if you're totally into passing certification i highly recommend you also check out some of the online free forums out there in the market so at least you can get to know how people are doing it what mistakes have they they've seen in the mist uh, in the certification some tips and tricks so that's going to be mainly for certification but if you're preparing yourself for actual job then the process is going to the roadmap clicking on transitioning roadmap opening that course finishing with the hands-on router switches server you're going to touch all of that stuff then coming back to your practice tests and doing it that way is you're going to be totally prepared for the junior network or junior sysadmin job and of course more roadmaps are available for specialization such as just microsoft just aws just azure just cisco then you need to go into that specific route to totally focus in that technologies thank you